Within the Chinese market, this massive company has woven an intricate web that connects individuals and businesses alike. It has created a digital ecosystem so vast and omnipresent, incorporating social media, e-commerce, and entertainment into one app, earning the reputation of being the everything app. Outside of China, however, this giant is largely unknown, but behind closed doors, the company has quietly acquired stakes in prominent Western companies, seizing control without drawing much attention. That company is Tencent. However, in recent years, reports have surfaced, shedding light on the company's ruthless business practices within China's borders. These have not been limited to the domestic market as the company's influence extends to Western countries through its investments in various companies. Speculations have also emerged regarding Tencent's close ties to the Chinese government, leading to perceptions of the company as a global propaganda machine. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into the incredible journey of this company, from its humble beginnings to its current status as a corporate giant. We'll explore its fascinating business strategies and also shed light on some controversial tactics it has employed. So, make sure to stick around till the end of the video. The company's journey started when Pony Ma and his classmates co-founded Tencent in 1998. It all began when Ma got inspired by ICQ, the world's first internet instant messaging service. He and his team then developed a similar software called OICQ, which later had to be rebranded as QQ due to copyright issues. Like many startups, Tencent encountered numerous challenges in its early days. There was even a point when the company faced the risk of bankruptcy. However, through the help of venture capital, Tencent managed to survive. But then things took a turn. QQ started gaining popularity rapidly. And by 2010, it had an astounding 600 million active users, making it the largest online community in the world at that time. With QQ's success, Tencent's portfolio expanded rapidly, encompassing a diverse range of products and services. It includes popular social media platforms like Weibo and Qzone, as well as gaming behemoths like Honor of Kings. The company also makes significant investments in various industries, both domestically and abroad. It has invested in companies such as Didi and JD.com, and has even ventured into global enterprises like Spotify and Tesla. However, Tencent's most remarkable accomplishment came with the creation of WeChat, a mega platform that revolutionized communication and socializing. Initially developed as a mobile instant messaging app similar to WhatsApp, WeChat expanded its capabilities in 2017 with the introduction of new features called mini-programs. Let me just provide you with an example. Imagine going to a movie with your friend in China. First, you go browsing through the mini-programs available on WeChat's Discover tab. You come across a mini-program specifically designed for moviegoers. Inside the movie mini-program, you find information on the latest movie releases, showtimes, and nearby theaters. Once you've picked a movie, you can conveniently purchase tickets directly within the mini-program. You select your preferred seating and pay securely using WeChat Pay. And with the help of Tencent's investment in various companies, from booking a ride to the theater through Didi, to ordering a delicious meal from a nearby restaurant with Flipdish, all seamlessly integrated within the app. What a convenience. However, beneath the surface, cracks began to appear, and rumors about the company's practices started to circulate. But hold on, the last time our video didn't receive many likes, the algorithm didn't show us much mercy, so please hit that thumbs up button as it really does help. It means a lot to us. In 2010, tension arose between Tencent and Chihu, the producer of the widely used antivirus software 360 Safeguard. The conflict intensified when Tencent's QQ doctor, bundled with Tencent QQ, quickly gained a staggering 40% market share overnight. The conflict continued to escalate as Chihu updated its privacy guard software to block ads within QQ. Tencent then took legal action by filing an unfair competition lawsuit against Chihu. They also released an update that prevented Tencent products from running on machines with 360 Safeguard installed. This action forces Chinese computer users to make a choice between uninstalling QQ or using Chihu's 360. Since the QQ platform was already well-established and familiar to many people, a large number of individuals decided to stick with QQ and uninstall Chihu's 360. This incident showcases the extent to which Tencent is willing to go in order to crush its competitors. Furthermore, 
Tencent's business model has faced criticism for its tendency to imitate successful products and services instead of fostering innovation. For instance, Weibo, often seen as a close replica of Twitter, and Qzone, which bears a resemblance to Facebook, have been pointed out as examples of Tencent's imitative approach. Tencent has also been known to replicate popular games with minor alterations. Games such as Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, Temple Run, and many others have been subject to Tencent's imitation. To be fair, it's not just Tencent. Many Chinese companies have a habit of doing the same thing. The government system itself lacks strong copyright protection, which makes it easier for companies to imitate others without facing significant consequences. But there's another big issue surrounding Tencent. People are worried about its ties to the Chinese government. They're concerned about things like data privacy, surveillance, and censorship. There have been reports of people getting in trouble if they talk on the Tencent platform about sensitive topics like Tiananmen Square or supporting Hong Kong. In China, Tencent holds a significant influence over the population. It's nearly impossible to go without using one of their products. The company's dominance in multiple sectors, including social media and gaming, grants it extensive control over the flow of information. Moreover, Chinese law mandates that all companies operating within the country must provide the government with access to their data. Consequently, this data can be utilized for extensive surveillance purposes, such as the implementation of social credit scoring systems. Tencent's significant investments in foreign companies have expanded its influence beyond China's borders, essentially giving the Chinese government a hand in various industries. For instance, when Daryl Morey, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, tweeted in support of the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong Tencent, the NBA's digital rights holder in China, reacted strongly by not broadcasting Rockets games in the country. This had a massive impact on the club's revenue and triggered a backlash against Mori, even from within the club. Both the club and the NBA subsequently showed their support for the Chinese government in response to the incident. A similar incident occurred in the case of a Blizzard user, in which Tencent holds a significant stake. The user was banned by Blizzard for expressing support for Hong Kong. Tencent's relationship with the Chinese government itself is a complex one. While the government has played a role in Tencent's growth, overlooking some of its questionable practices like anti-monopoly and copyright issues, at the same time, the government imposes regulations that hurt Tencent. For example, they have placed limits on how much time miners can spend playing online games, which affects Tencent's business and earnings. Furthermore, people outside of China often hesitate to use Tencent's products, such as WeChat, due to concerns about surveillance. Tencent finds itself in a delicate balancing act. On one hand, it must maintain a harmonious relationship with the Chinese Communist Party in order to operate within China's heavily regulated environment. On the other hand, as Tencent expands into Western markets, it faces a new set of challenges. The company must navigate cultural differences and regulatory frameworks and address concerns about data privacy and censorship. Despite the controversies and challenges it has faced, Tencent has made remarkable progress since its early days as a struggling company on the brink of bankruptcy. Today, it stands as one of the largest and most influential companies globally. This success can be attributed to Tencent's ability to adapt to the shift from desktop web applications to mobile apps thanks to the vision of its founder, Pony Ma. Looking ahead, the company is making massive investments in emerging technologies like virtual reality and artificial intelligence in order to maintain its leadership position in the industry. And while you're here, why not check out some of our other videos like this one? We have a ton of videos that unveil the hidden practices of various companies. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we look forward to seeing you again in the next video.